I'm going to create a variable called a, and I'm going to assign it the value sam. Then I'm going to create a variable called b, and I'm going to assign it the value of a list. In the list will be Bill, Kim, and Juan. Now, let's loop, let's for loop through a string and for loop through a list and see what the differences are. Let's start with the string. For, pick a variable, x in a, that's where Sam is, colon, backspace, one, two, three, four, print out whatever value is in x. So, our guy is going to do this. It's a variable x, and he's going to walk through a. First time, he's going to grab the letter s and put that in x. The second time, he's going to put a in x. The third time, he's going to put m in x. And each time he does that, then he jumps down here and prints it one at a time. Here we go. And we get Sam. S-A-M. Oh, okay, very good. Let's get this um, a little bit lower so we can see it. Let's do this again. For each x, not in A now, but in B. So now the system's going to walk through B. Variable x is going to walk through B. One element at a time. It's going to grab Bill, put that in x. Then it's going to print out x. Jumps back up here. It's going to put now Kim in x. Jumps to the next line, prints out x. That's Kim. Jumps up here again. Grabs the next element, which is Juan, puts that into X, goes to the next line, prints out Juan. That's what should happen. Let's see if, indeed, that is what occurs. Enter, enter, and oh, but a bing, there we go. So in summary, we created two variables. A had Sam in it, B had a list in it with Bill, Kim, and Juan inside that. We for looped our way through A, which had Sam in it and it printed out S-A-M vertically. We then for looped our way through B, which was this list here, and it printed out the contents of the list, the items of the list, one at a time, vertically. Bill, Kim, and Juan. This is George Bull. Please share and rate this video. That means click on the like button. And I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.